Now, in terms of the embodiment and related to the collective, you know, through my work, a lot of what I say is that relationship is really what we're talking about. So even as you're talking about integrating parts of our body, that's actually your arm is in relationship to your chest. <laughs> your mm -hmm. torso is in relationship to your lower body. We are actually not just biceps and pecs and, you know, where there's a relationship in how you move. And sometimes we bypass certain aspects because we don't want to feel it. But relationship is at the core. Trauma interrupts relationship in our own body and also with other beings, other human beings, other beings in our ecosystem, trauma interrupts that relationship. And so um, in, with our organization, the Embodiment Institute, we are talking about how do we expand our field and feeling so that we can be aware of the web of relationship that we're already embedded in and be able to feel into that. Um, that's so much of what is I know, I'm going to say broken, but I wish I had a better word. Um, and as someone who is trained as a therapist, we often think about individual distress as a kind of indicator of well-being. And I think that there's something about our ability to be in relationship with our ecosystem, with other creatures, with other human beings that actually tells us a lot about well-being. It's not just my individual distress, it's capacity for relationship too.